this time of the year I would like to um, bring to you my current contemporary and luxury bag collection um, I like to really watch videos like this you know when people um, share their handbag collection especially the luxury handbag collection um, I I really enjoy watching it so um, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this um, ever since you know I was a I was in high school I was always attracted to handbags um, I remember back in the day when I had um, when I received my first merit card and my father asked me you know like what I would like um, I brought him to the store where I saw that handbag um, that I really want and he bought it for me and ever since you know I just I just love handbags so so without further ado I would like to um, share with you guys first my contemporary bag collection I just put them here on the side so it will be easy for me to to get it so um, first off is my long shop um, backpack this is the Lipledge um, collection of Longchamp and I bought this bag when we were in California when we went to Disneyland um, I didn't bought it at Disneyland but I bought it um, at the mall where my cousin you know lived and um, yeah so this is my number my long sham. this is my only backpack um, so I use this you know when we go to you know parks and you know like um, some travels um, but I'm not really a backpack person so this you know one backpack is good for me and then um, the next one is the Aspinal of London this is the um, small Lati bag in caviar leather and this color is um, black I gave this to my daughter but she left it here at home so I'm guessing she doesn't really you know like wear this a whole lot so um, I'm just gonna claim it back <laughs> you know there's nothing wrong with it you know I can share it with her if she wants it back so this is the um, small um, Lottie Aspinal of London which has you know this um, handle here the small handle that you can just grip when you wear it crossbody you can wear it on the shoulder too um, so I really like this bag it's very very versatile and hard wearing as well and then I want to show you um, my uh, my other Longchamp lip -lage. Um, no, not lip lace. Le Lefolon. I'm, I'm, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I may not be pronouncing this very well, but this is the Longchamp Lefolon. I have here um, air paper. I usually fill my bags with air paper because I want them to retain their shape so they will last longer. And this is made of um, pebble leather and the Longchamp brand um, logo is right there which is very very um, subtle and I I have put this bag charm here um, the Laudere bag charm so yeah I like this bag too this is my only red bag actually two red bags now um, and then another one I have here is from Tory Birch. This is the Lee Radswell from Tory Birch. And um, I got this, I think, I can't remember if I got this last year or the other year um, during Thanksgiving. And I just wrapped a twilly around it. So yeah, I like this bag too. It's very small, but it fits it fits all my essentials so that's just what i need in a bag i don't like big bags anymore i like um 
you know small bags because they're cute and you know i'm not a big girl i'm i'm petite so i like small bags because they just fit my frame and my latest acquisition is from coach you know guys before i got into the luxury bag um i had many coach bags before and i sold them um i wish i have you know kept some of them so this is the heart bag from coach and it's made of lambskin leather and it's so you know the feel of this bag is very luxurious um, it's made very well um, it could even you know it could it's it's even at par with Chanel you know with their quality and the inside of the bag is burgundy leather the interior is burgundy leather so you can't really beat that and the the this here the um the tag that says coach um it's also made of leather and it smells it smells good too so yeah and I have this um, new bag charm that I got from Laudere um, from eBay. So I think it fits there and it's got that heart, you know, um, tiny pom pom as well. I think it goes very well with that. And I also have the other um, bag charm that's just black that I got from Korea. Um, so I can also put it here. So those are all my contemporary bag collection. Now we're gonna be going into my luxury bag collection. Um, so first, I wanna show you my tote. So this is my only tote from Louis Vuitton. This is the Damier Iban in the MM size. And I, um, I use this a lot for travel. So when we travel, um, I use this this is like my my hand carry um, my hand carry bag all right and then um, I also included here the bag that I gave to my husband on his birthday so I got this vintage Amazon bag from um, Facebook addicted um, group and it's very well priced and for the condition of the bag um it's the condition is very very good so yeah this is my husband's um bag because this is um a unisex bag and then um this is just of no particular order um and then next is my gucci soho disco bag um the tassel is right inside here i put the tassel inside um yeah so i just got this bag from modern leather goods after sending it for um repair which i have a video if you guys wanna you know wanna look at it um if you wanna watch that video because um i i talked about you know how how the process was and how i was not happy when i got the bag and then my only Loewe bag, which is the um, Nano Loewe puzzle bag, um, which is comparable to the, um, it's comparable to the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy bag, which I have down here. And technically, this bag I don't really wear because I've been you know trying to keep this in its pristine condition so i can give it to my daughter so they are similar okay so this is the lueve puzzle bag and i think the color is um i think it says mink so uh, the color is very very um beautiful it's kind of beige and a little bit of gray and a little bit of brown you know depending on when the what the light hits it so yeah the color is very very beautiful and then we'll go to the um my 
Speedy 20 bandolier which I have gotten in I believe this came out in 21 20 yeah 20 2021 and um, I'm not so sure now but I think it was 21 anyway um, I didn't think I need this bag but when I saw my friend's um, bag and she told me like how well the it's being constructed and it's got thicker canvas um, I went to look at it at the store and um, I I ordered I ordered it so this is you know like not very very planned but I'm glad that I have it um, and then um, this is my Alma this is my Alma BB which I have custom I custom it you know for me this is my Alma BB and I have you know instead of the Vachetta leather I opted for the black leather and the monogram and the inside is red interior yeah, the inside is red interior right there I just don't want to remove all my um, my air paper because I'm after this video I'm putting this back in in the um, in the dust bags and um, oh I have one Louis Vuitton bag let me just okay here um, this this is for my little one this is the nano speedy and I have one more bag so this is the nano speedy that I mentioned um, I'm just gonna pause it's the bag that I'm wearing and um, it's kind of heavy I have all my essentials there um, plus you know other stuff that I put in so I love wearing this bag in the winter in the fall um, and I bought this bag three times the first one I had I had it was in 2017 and then they had they it had a glazing issue so I um, sent it to Louis Vuitton they reglazed it and then I had it so I sold it after I had it reglazed and then um, I bought one from fashion file later but I was not happy with the bag um, the condition there was nothing wrong with the condition but I just wanted to have a new bag so I sold that and then I ordered this one in 2019 so this is my pochette me piece um, you know I thought that I would let go of it but I really really missed it so I acquired it back after you know the third time so third times the charm and then now let's go to my YSL bag so this is my only YSL toy Lulu bag um, this is my very very light bag I consider this my white bag it's not technically white it's dark gray in color but it's my very light bag anyway so for me I consider this my white bag it has a slit compartment inside I wish they it doesn't have the slit compartment so you can really maximize the the you know the inside of the bag so you can you know because there's a, if there's like a pocket a slit pocket it just um, makes the space you know um, minimal for you it doesn't uh, maximize your space and then the next bag that I have here is from Chanel and this is my only Chanel bag um, in the vintage and I'm very proud to say that the condition of this bag is none to second to none um, to the brand new handbags that Chanel is selling right now there are so many quality issues of their bags that you know I heard from people you know on YouTube um, I have read on the Facebook group um, yeah so the vintage is the way to go if you guys you know want quality um, it's it's a lot you know less expensive although the the vintage are also getting expensive they are 
but you you still save money um i used to have the caviar leather in the medium and i sold that one and i wish i did not let go of that one but i needed the money at that time so i sold it and then after that i was still longing for a classic flap so when i saw this one on ebay from brand Dove, brand of brand jfa i think um and i looked at you know the pictures individually on each angle the inside as well and everything um it's it was in excellent condition so i i emailed him and he replied me back and so i got this bag um, so I have no regrets of getting this bag even though if it's lambskin the lambskin is very hard wearing um, yeah and it's in excellent excellent condition I love wearing this bag crossbody because it just hits me right because of how petite I am and it fits all my essentials too and then my last acquisition of my luxury bag collection is from Dior and this is my only only Dior bag um, in the size um, small it's not small it's the um, nano or extra small um, this is my lady Dior bag and I also got this from from eBay and um, yeah, the condition of this bag is very very good i i don't want to say it's excellent because it's not in excellent condition um but it is very good condition and i can send this to leather surgeon um you know in the future to get it to get it clean to to get it for a spa treatment but right now um i'm okay with it so you can see the back here is kind of flat but I don't really care it's just at the back and this bag is so ladylike you know it just makes you feel like a princess so there you go guys those are all my bag collections um, those are all my handbag collection I mean um, thank you for watching this video and I would really appreciate it for those who haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my channel and um, help me grow in this um, platform and um, for those of you that have subscribed and you know kept coming back to watch my videos thank you so much for your support have a Merry Christmas and um, you know God bless you and your family and you know stay safe thanks Bye.